of um, Ubuntu on there called Satellite Karma. Oh, really? Which is a distribution that we put out of uh, from Karma. Okay. Um, and that comes with Jack already installed and running on it, as well as Pure Data, Super Collider, C Sound, Chuck, Node.js, Faust, and a handful of other tools. Huh. I think I may have gotten them to include Vim now, finally, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. They've got Nano on there and Emacs. So how are you using the Beagle Beagleborn in all this? So what's going on is uh, you can see on each one of these faces inside are these PCL electric disks. Uh huh. Uh, electret. Uh, anyways. Okay. Um, they're grabbing the vibrations and the okay. pulses on each of the faces and sending that into a synthesis model that Ramon Michal, who's a gentleman over there in the collared shirt, um, wrote in Faust and compiled it into a completely external. Okay. Um, so the impulses are being sent into that model. They're being filtered. Um, the model's a nonlinear plate model, so you can kind of hear that sounds like a plate. When we go past a certain uh, displacement angle, uh, okay. the displacement angle controls the coefficients on a feedback delay network. Okay. Um, but also, once you go past a certain point, it changes the coefficients on the original model. So now, rather than a plate, it sounds you know, more like a bell or something. Okay. Or a more different plate. Cool. Um, we also have an accelerometer in there that we're using to get that displacement angle. And a teensy uh, or? This is um, oh, a nano. Na a nano. Okay. Um, that's control. That's getting the information from the Arduino and sending that to the Beagle board, and it's also controlling a Blink M using I squared C. Okay. You're using. What do the piezos go to? The piezos are all just muxed into a single. Um, Audio channel just going in on the oh into channel. the beagle board's the audio, beagle board's input. audio input. okay and that's just being fed directly into the synthesis model so all the sounds like as I was saying all the sounds that you're hearing are just like four A transforms and other transforms being done okay on the impulses that you're creating okay so you're just using this then uh, for the uh, um, to get the accelerometer data oh yeah the, the nano is used for piping the accelerometer data to the beagle board as well as to control the blink end using I squared C. Oh, okay. Um, Where's your blink end at? The blink end oh, is right okay. here. So does that uh, make it illuminated at night? Yeah, so okay. what the, the blink end is doing like a really simple high pass, low pass, and band pass filter. And then um, the oh, okay. values of each of those are put to RGMB. Okay, so it's like a light organ sort of yeah. thing? Yeah. Okay. So you can kind of oh, see... Oh, yeah, you can kind of see the illumination there. And cool. that gets really nice when you kind of like... Stop. Right. It's a, lot, it's a lot more impressive at night, and it sounds a lot better cool. when it's in a quiet space, but... Uh, <laughs> Very nice. <laughs>